All right, what up, YouTube family? Um, I feel like this video just had to be made. Um, ever since my situation, I've been seeing a whole bunch of TikToks of a lot of men stating the same thing. And the number one question that I see on TikTok, especially from women, um, from females, is why men don't want to be in relationships anymore? The fact that you have to ask that question means you already know the answer. But I'm going to go ahead and just break it down from my point of view. We're tired. <laughs> it's as simple as that. We're tired. This is not to speak on any specific subject or person. I'm just talking about the uh, whole bunch of YouTube videos. That's my solar battery. whole bunch of YouTube videos that I've seen on the internet talking about the same subject. And to be honest with you, that's what it is. We're tired. We're 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 tired of of y'all playing victim. We're tired of y'all taking the responsibility upon yourselves for the actions that y'all do. We're tired of a lot of it. Um, and the biggest thing I will say is that when men are tired of it, we just don't deal with it. Let me let me tell you about the camaraderie with men. When we get in an argument with somebody, like one of our homeboys, or say they did some you know treacherous, which men. Are not perfect. They do stupid shit. Um, not only will we check them on that, but we'll deal with it in our own way. And then afterwards, the beast should be squashed. Period. Don't bring it up again. Um, there's been times where homeboys can stop talking to each other, and then for a while, like years later, talk to each other out the blue like it's nothing, and ask to hang out for a beer. That's how men act because men we don't stay stuck on stuff that we see hinders our happiness we don't stay stuck on it we realize it happens we hurry up and deal with it as much as we can and then we move on that doesn't mean we don't care what that saying is we don't ponder on it females however or i should say girls because there's a difference will ponder on shit from years ago They'll make enemies out of almost every girl unless they're going against a guy and all of a sudden they're the best friends in the world. So before I continue any further, let me break down what the difference is between these females. OK, so on females, you have. The girl and you have the woman. The girl is childish. She's immature. She thinks she's smart. She thinks she knows everything. She thinks she mature more than men do. She thinks she knows the world, which is the reason why when you get teenagers, the female is more rebellious than actually the male teenager is. The male teenager just gets more emotional, but the female uh, teenager is more rebellious. OK, because what people don't realize is that when before we hit puberty, we are who we are biologically speaking scientifically speaking and men are more logical and women uh, are more emotional there's a reason why these things exist men are more logical because we're built to be leaders we built to go out there and handle the gritty stuff we built to go out there and deal with the bull crap women are more emotional because they are the best support system you will ever have behind every strong man is a strong woman and and women are built as that emotional support because be, believe it or not they are the backbones of the family he may lead the family but she's the backbone of the family okay she what helps hold the family together so when she falls the family falls check this out when it comes to racism, when it comes to the government, when our government's done, in order to break apart the fact, black family, who did they go after the first? They went after the man first. They couldn't touch the family because they had to get through the man first. And the man dealt with a lot of stuff. Even to this day, especially black men, we deal with a lot of bull crap. And we expect our emotional support system to be there to help hold us up because there's no way we can do that by ourselves. We built to deal with that but we're not built to deal with that forever. You know, we're going to need that as emotional support. So long we know that we got a woman at home who's taking care of the family, who's taking care of everything, that make that push us to work harder, that push us to do better. You see what I'm saying? So when they did try to attack the black man, they couldn't touch the family. 
the family stays strong and they've been attacking black men for even through back breaking let's let's go ahead and go some history of it white men used to rape africans in front of their families as a way to break them as a way to break their spirit as a way to say hey i own him and even then they could not break the family but during the uh uh, uh 60s and 70s when there's attack on black people and their freedoms the government said we got to go at this at a different angle so what they did was they hired federal agents that looked like us and they spied on us and this is not no conspiracy these are actual facts that can be proven you can look this up even with the freedom of information act and this is stuff they don't want to teach you but even there's former agents that even admit to this there's videos of former agents even confessing to this and you can look up their background and see that they're actually agents but they said we got to come at this different how can we destroy the black family and so they're like well we going at well going after the man doesn't work what if we go after the woman instead and make her, what if we separate the man, right? Separating is, is simply not going to do it because the black woman is going to support him. No, you know what? We got to make her push him out the way. And then we can step in and take control. And that's what they did. That's what they did with spousal support, child support, alimony, and all this other stuff. They and, and food stamps and all that. What they did was they used that system to tell women to get rid of your black men and push them out the house because you don't need him. Oh, he, he's he's the only one working. No, you don't need him. We'll, we'll provide you with the money. So what happened is the woman pushes the man out the household who's supposed to be the leader. And you got the government telling women that they can lead themselves. And then. You start to see men being put on child support, but they're not allowed to see the kids. Why do you think that when most families split apart, the sole custody automatically goes to the woman? They don't want that man in them children's lives. They don't. They don't want to stay with home because you're not going and attacking the man and a woman. You want the kids because the government, they own your kids. So they want the kids. So let's go ahead and push out. The strong black male role model and tell women that they can take care of themselves. Why, where do you think the term welfare queen comes from? Reagan coined that term on purpose and nobody even realized it. It was a joke on African queen. It was a joke wordplay on that. So what they did was after pushing them out the home, pushing the man out the home, then the woman start trying to leave now she's getting child support and all this government support and all this shit like this and that and then what happens there's no male role model to teach your son how to become a man and there's no male role model to teach your daughter what type of man to look for so what happens the woman gets stressed out because she's not built to head that household especially by herself she gets stressed out the boy don't know how to be a man. All he knows how to do is be a boy. So when he does get in a relationship, he don't know what he's supposed to do. He don't know his role. And the female, she don't know what type of man to look for. So she look at her mom. And when she see her mom being this man-hating person, she builds up that personality too. So now, and also because the dad's not in a home, the girl's going out there being with all these different type of men because... She's trying to find some validation in herself because she don't have that male role model in her life to teach her that she's a princess and that she can become a queen. She don't have that. So now you got the female, and I know everybody's not going to agree with this, but I'm just telling you based off of research and my uh, own personal, uh, what I've been through and what I've also seen, is that now she, she don't have the positive male role model to look up to to see what type of man she should be with so she goes and basically be and sleep with all these dudes with tr using you know doing the whole trial and error type thing i said look at it like this that the majority of boys who are ignorant when it comes to a relationship are raised by single mothers look that look it up look it up you can you can look up the statistics 
Look it up. Why? Because the man is supposed to teach the boy how to be a man. And when you're too busy trying to push these positive male role models out your life because you want to get a little bit of money, you end up destroying the generation and generation and generation. Now we at a point where we got females walking around thinking they run stuff, talking about, oh, I, I want to, I, I, even though I slept with all these guys. Look, 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 let me break it down like this. We got a lot of girls out here who are, Talking about they want men who make a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars a year, but you spend your twenties and thirties hoeing around. You sleep with all these dudes, let all these dudes hit it who don't even deserve to hit it, but you're just giving it up to them because you're in your little party phase, and then you want to later on settle down. I remember there was one TikTok video where this woman said, oh, guys want to play around with all these girls and then they want to settle down. No, if a guy want to play with females, he's going to continue staying playing with females. He's not going to just say, oh, man, I want to settle down and have kids now. Rarely, I'm not saying it does not happen, but rarely have I met a dude who was out there hoeing, turn around and say, hey, I want to settle down now. No, he continues hoeing. Maybe for the rest of his life because he knows he don't have to earn to get it. He can just simply get it and he's going to keep getting it. Whereas the woman, she goes out here and she's giving it all these guys who don't deserve it. And then after she's been ran through by 20, 30 guys, oh, I want to settle down. But I want a man with $100,000 with a big penis who makes, uh, uh, you know, uh, who's like six foot tall, very muscular and all this other stuff. It's like. That's unrealistic. Like Kevin Samuel says, you got women out here, you got used cars out here asking for new car prices. Use women out here. No, you can't. No, the one who should deserve that is the female who decided to be in relationships that actually matter. And maybe she did get done wrong by these guys, but maybe she's been with like, you know, two, three, four or five guys. She's the one who deserves the man with the hundred thousand dollars because she didn't sit up there and just give it away to anybody. She gave away to people she thought that loved her genuinely. And then when she see she didn't go out there and start holding herself around, she kind of held back. It's like, you know what? No, I'm going to hold back as much as I can until I find the right man who deserves to be with me. And then she get, ends up getting that millionaire. Then she ends up getting that guy with the, the big penis or something. Or then she ends up getting the guy that's like six feet tall or something like that. Because she's earned that right. The universe blessed her for her respecting her temple. And the same thing goes for guys. You can't go out here and hope to get a virgin and you out here hoeing yourself around, sleeping with 30, 40, 50 females. That's 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 what how a boy thinks. A man tries to prepare himself for his wife so that way he can commit himself 100 percent to his wife. And a lot of dudes out here ain't doing that, just like a lot of females out here ain't doing that. The reason why relationships is broke is because we got too many people thinking they know better. So now you got women out here who are crying and complaining about, first of all, claiming they're feminists, which really you don't even know what the term feminism is. Because here's the thing. They ask for equal rights, right? Oh, we're equal pay, equal pay, equal pay. Okay, so ask for equal prison sentences. Because statistically, females serve less prison sentences than males do for the same crime. How about that? If a female was to rape a child, she serves a third of the time than the man who rapes a child. How about you ask for equal rights on that? But, oh, we don't want to have that conversation because these so-called feminists, all they really care about is having the advantage over a man. And they, instead of them proving themselves they have the advantage over the man, they rather cry about it and hope that the man that they're crying to gives them that advantage. Look how that works. So real women are out here saying, I don't need that advantage because I know I got it. We, you can have a female boxer, box a male boxer, and she thinks she can take him on. And if she loses, she's not going to be like, oh, he's because he, he's, he's a man. No, she's going to say she lost him for some other reason. Why? Because she know for a fact that she, if she wanted to and needed to, she could train up enough to take on that man. I've seen girls knock do, grown dudes out. I've seen it. So when females have it in them, but we're not going to sit up there and think that, 
oh, women should just have a total advantages and stuff like that. Like, you know how feminism flipped back on them? You know, I got dudes dressing up and trying to beat women, competing in women leagues, and now they're getting the shit beat out of them. Now women want to claim it's unfair. Oh, now it's unfair. But you asked for this. Also as well, let's get on another thing. Men are tired. We're tired of dealing with the bullshit. Women got so, uh, not women, girls. Girls got so many things they want a man to do, but yet at the same time, you don't want to do anything. You don't want to cook. You don't want to clean. You don't want to take care of the kids. You don't want to be the, my support system. You don't want to be honest with me. You don't want to be faithful with me. But I'm supposed to be faithful. I'm supposed to be honest. I'm supposed to do everything for you. Cook, clean, and all this stuff. No, men are tired of that. If I, if me as a man have to do everything, I don't need you. It's the same as a woman. If a woman has to do everything, men, she, I mean boys, she don't need you. The thing is, people don't realize positive, negative, left, right, up, down, forward, backwards. Everything has an opposite, which when it comes together, it completes. A straight line has a beginning and an end. Without a beginning or without an end, it's not a line. Without an end, it just goes on forever. You don't know what it is. You can't define it because you don't know what it is. Because within this universe, everything has a beginning and an end. Outside the universe, that's different. But then you can't draw the line in the first place because it has no beginning. So without the beginning, you can't have an end. Everything has everything in the universe has the opposite. And when it comes to relationships, there is the man, there is the woman. And when they come together, they procreate to create the children, which is the next generation. So the problem is, is that we're not teaching young people that not only do you need to be that person's better half or other half, but respect that other half and respect the differences. And, and if, if there's some issues going on, you sit there, you talk about it and you work it out together. A lot of girls don't want to do that nowadays. A lot of girls just want, hey, I just want to do this. Like you got females on there who, who talk about how men are subjectifying them or sexifying them. But yet you're making money off of this. You're making millions of dollars just showing your body to everybody. You know what I do respect? The women who actually do it and don't complain about it. They're like, yeah, I make money selling my body. I thought about the repercussions. I talked them over. I discuss them and I'm willing to deal with the repercussions. I have more respect for women who do that than the ones who go out here and say, oh, I didn't have a choice but to do that. No, you always have a choice, sweetheart. We all have choices. I don't know about in the current America, but in life, we all have choices. So if you want to go out here and do that, deal with the repercussions that you're not, uh, ain't no good man going to actually want a woman who done showed her whole entire body off to everybody. Get the guy that's in that same field as you. Get a guy who also showed off his body to everybody. And that's the thing. I'm tired of people who degrade themselves, who live this certain lifestyle that's right here, but they want somebody that's up here. No, you get somebody that's equal to you. If you're not a hoe and you're honest with yourself, get somebody that's on that same level. Don't step down and don't step higher than you need to. And the same thing for women. Don't don't step lower. And don't step higher than you need to. If you have a woman, if you, you as a woman have a certain mindset and you're a go-getter, get a man who has that same mindset. Don't get no little boy you got to take care of and try to build him up. Say, I built him up. Because nine times out of ten, he's going to leave you. Let's be real. Don't get somebody that's higher than you because you know what he's going to do? He's going to expect you to come up to his level. And if you can't come up to his level, no, get get right here. And if y'all want to build up together, do that. Or if you're down here, and if you want to stay down there, or if you want to build up, do that. But don't get somebody who is worse or better than you. Get somebody you're compatible with. Get somebody that you got yourself ready to be the equivalent of. And then you can build a good relationship. But women, stop coming out here asking why men don't want to date when you can't look at yourselves as the issue. I should say women, girls. 
You're the problem. You girls are the problem. They're, okay, let's give an example. Remember the women who actually did used to take care of the house and be at home? I'm not saying that's what a woman has to do. But remember they used to take care of the house and be at home and, you know, do all this other stuff and stuff like this and that? You don't realize them women had a lot of free time to do whatever they wanted to do. Think about it. Your kids are in school. You clean up the house. You don't have to worry about dinner until uh, right before your husband gets off work. What are you doing for the rest of the day? I don't mind a woman having a career. There's nothing wrong with that. But balance your life out. Balance it. Now, there's some households where the man is staying at home and taking care of stuff. And those households seem to work. Those households seem to work. But you know why they work? Because even the woman, even after that woman comes home and that man's, you know, doing what he's doing for her, she still lets him lead, though. People think that if you're the breadwinner, that automatically makes you make the rules. No, that's not the purpose of it. The reason why the man's leading is because he was created to lead. Here's a funny thing. I believe my nose is stuffed up. I believe the creator is a female aspect. And I believe the woman come first, right? It's like the whole chicken before the egg thing. And I believe the woman come first. And I believe the woman is the one who births life. So why does the man exist? Think about that. Men, our main jobs are to provide, protect, and and uh 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 uh, uh and to guide. There's another P in there somewhere. I forgot the P. It was like three P's I came up with. I forgot what the third P was. I'm going to just say provide. Uh, I mean guide. But, you know, provide, protect, and guide. When your man is able to do that respectfully, I'm not saying treat your woman like she's a slave. Don't ever do that. Because if you can't respect what God has blessed you with, what the creator has blessed you with, you don't need her at all. But what I'm saying is, if you playing your position, playing your role, and you doing what you're doing to provide and protect for your family, and she's doing what she's doing to support the family. Because, see, here's the thing. At the end of the day, if, say, for instance, I'm upset at something, and I want to go out there, I want to act rogue. It's like, man, fuck you. Do, 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 do. Guess who's going to stop me from doing that? Guess who's going to put me in check and, and mentally and keep me level? She is. Why? Because she can sense my energy. Women are better at sensing energy than men are. Women are more supposed to be better empaths than men are. So even though there are male empaths, she can sense my energy. A woman should be so good to the point that... Let me see what this charging. Oh, wow, it's up there. Uh, a woman should be so good at sensing that she should know I'm upset before I'm even upset. Right? Because, see, women want men to be psychic and read their minds, not realizing you're the one that have that ability, not us. That's why we don't understand you half the time. We speak two different languages. Men speak a different language than women. And so when you expect us to try to be psychic and try to understand where you're coming from, we're not. We're not built like that. You are. You have that intuition. Like a mother knows when her child is in trouble. She can sense it because you are emotionally connected to the universe. Your spiritual aura is stronger than ours. Which is the reason why when you play a support role in the household, the household becomes just as strong as the man that's leading it. And another thing people don't realize is that back in Kemet, back in uh, ancient cultures over in Africa, the man ruled through the woman. And even then, when the woman ruled, she had male people within her court to confide in, to get advice from. So we need each other. So to have this whole competition between each other, and then you got these girls out here trying to ask for guys that are 
way out of their league, when they sitting up there opening their legs for anything, stop with that. Stop. Just stop with that. Uh, also, another thing to end this off with, because I think this video is going to end. It's like 25 minutes. I ain't mean to go this long. Um, another thing I want to say is, is that we women, I mean, not women, girls, stop giving it up to every single guy that just says you look pretty. Stop doing that. Stop with that. That's dumb. Stop. Because when, here's the thing. If a guy was to come along and say how beautiful you look, oh, he's corny. Get away from me. You're a creep. But if a guy, a boy, come and say, oh, you fine. You sexy. All of a sudden, you do the whole come here, daddy, whole routine. Are, are you are you for real? And then you wonder why you can't lead. You got women out here looking at these girls like. Is she is she stupid? Like what, what the hell's wrong with her? It's gotten to the point where a lot of women are now speaking out against other females, against other girls because they're getting tired of the bull crap. Which most of them speaking out have boys of their own. Because they don't want their sons to go through that. And some of them don't want their daughters to be like that. It's like grow up. Stop trying to be a little girl for your whole entire life and grow up and become a woman. Because at the end of the day, you only going to receive the same energy you put out. Because look at it like this. The whole vanity thing. Let's let matter of fact, for look for all the Christians out there, I know you're gonna get upset, but I'm gonna say this anyways. When we look at the Bible, right? And we talk about the whole Adam and Eve thing, right? First of all, they don't teach you about Lilith. They don't want to do that. Because Lilith was created and she didn't want to lay underneath man. Eve came along, and the reason why she's called Eve is because she was the first to give birth. But anyways, the God. The being of all creation literally told two people not to eat from the fruit of a tree. Right? This is God. And as soon as a serpent came into the yard and told Eve, are oh, you sexy? You fine. Go ahead and get that. You can't tell you go ahead. Like that, she ate that fruit. Now you mean to tell me that the serpent can come along and play into your vanity, and the first thing you do is go against the per the being that created you. And then not only that, instead of saying that she was wrong for doing it and come before God and apologize for doing it, she drug Adam down with her. Tell me that's not what women do today. Tell me that's not what women do. I mean, not women, but girls do today. That when somebody try to give them advice, they don't want to listen. They want to do their own thing. They don't want to say they're wrong. They want to blame it on the man. And that's what she did. She's like, oh, if I'm going down for this, Adam's going down too. So she sexually enticed Adam, which is what women do. I mean, girls do nowadays. They sexually entice a man into doing something. Or withhold sex from him. Something like that. So he ate from the fruit. You want to know why sin entered the world through him? It's because he's supposed to have been the leader. And he didn't lead. He's supposed to step up and tell Eve she was wrong for what she did and then go before God and ask for forgiveness. But he didn't do that. He felt more inclined to think that she was more important to God than anything because that was what his gift from God gave him. And he's like, I got to protect her. So he decided to take the sin along with him, right? Let me blow my nose real quick and stuff like that. And so when we look at it and break it down, we should see and realize that the Bible was literally telling you the interaction between man and woman. And the reason why I say into the world, is because Adam, who's supposed to be the head of household, who's supposed to be the leader, did not lead in that situation. And God punished all of mankind because he didn't lead. That's the real reason why it's not because he sinned It's because he did not lead. He didn't, he didn't do what he was supposed to do. And that was 
correct Eve, had her go before God, because I, I bet you nine times out of 10, God would have forgave her for playing into the vanity of herself and probably would have punished her a little bit or something like that. But that would have been it. But sin entered the world because Adam, who's supposed to lead, did not lead. Instead, he got emotional and felt sorry for Eve. And that's the reason why sin entered the world. So that I just think that was it. But when you look at the Bible, it's basically telling you that. The man is supposed to lead. Not a boy. A man. A man is supposed to lead. Because that's what a man is. So, at the end of the day, if females start stepping up their standards and males start playing their position, you can have good marriages again. You can have good households again. But you're not going to have that as long as the, the female keeps playing like she's the victim and then say, oh, I deserve everything for nothing. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. You, you think you should just be giving stuff because you simply exist? That's not how that works. So we, we as an older generation, need to step up the plate, step up to the game and get these people on point. Because otherwise, black families are still going to continue being ruined. You got white families being ruined by this. Let's be real. Every family in the U.S. is being ruined by the same concept. We sit up here. See, here's the thing. When we watch the news, we believe what the news media says. Oh, these women, they don't have rights over here and they're killing people and this and that. Go to Dubai. See how beautiful it is. See how peaceful it is. You got the majority of the population driving around in Lamborghinis, bro. So let's be for real. If we want a better society, a better family, a better structure in that family, we need to start taking responsibility for our actions. Say, hey, we're doing wrong. We need to fix it and actually fix it. Like I said, that's just my two cents, though. I'm not saying I'm right, but that's exactly how I feel. That's how I feel. I feel like that we should make that push to be better people and not just sit on the sidelines and be like, oh, well, you know, there's nothing we can do about it. Once you fix the family structure, everything else should fall into place. But females, stop getting out here thinking, I mean, girls, stop getting out here thinking you deserve everything for nothing because it's not how life works. Because at that point, you're useless. If you're not going to do anything for me besides offer up your thing between your legs, I'm better off just living single and just getting a prostitute every once in a while. Like, let's be real. Because that's exactly what you're doing. You're prostituting yourself to the highest bidder. That's not what a woman does. That's what a girl does. That's some childish stuff. That's some I need to grow up type stuff. You see what I'm saying? So that's the thing. Only reason why I'm saying it about the female is because, like I said, I've seen a lot of TikToks in which there are a lot of females responding to these TikToks pissed about these girls who are sitting up here thinking they deserve everything. Oh, man should be able to read my mind. No, we're not psychic. You're the most emotionally connected to the universe. You're more emotionally connected to the different auras and everything within the universe than the man is. So how you expect them to read your mind when we're not even built for that? But you are, but you won't do it. Or he should be able to give me anything I want whenever I want it. Because I'm giving up this ooh ooh. There's 4.3 billion women in this world. You are not the only one with that ooh ooh. So stop. You're not the only one. And even half the time, half of y'all is not even good anyways. But you're not the only one with that. There are plenty of women out here who have that same thing between their legs. Like, let's be for real. So, like I said, at the end of the day, that's how I feel. Um, if you disagree with it, do it respectfully. If you agree with it, same thing, do it respectfully. 
Um, but yeah, that's how I feel about it. Uh, that's the one way we can go is that if we teach our generation how to become mi- real men and real women, everything will start to fix itself. But we got to start at some point. All right, man, I'm going to go ahead and holler at y'all later. I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to probably make another video. But uh, be safe before I smack you in the face. And uh, I'll see y'all later.